I was raised Pentecostal in North Carolina. Growing up, I was a Jehovah's Witness. I was raised a modern Orthodox Jew. I was raised as a Jehovah's Witness. Since childhood, I was interested in religion as the answer to the question to why we're here. It was uh, very shortly after I'd become Orthodox, I learned um, that there were a lot more disturbing things in the religion than I was originally taught. All the fundamentalist groups, they work out of the same playbook, they, they act the same way, they behave the same way. It's all ice cream, it's just different flavors, you know, but you're taught that you're so special, that yours is so different, yours is, yours is the truth. And to like realize that all these other people are also being controlled with the exact same mind games, but yet with a different truth. This governs what you say, what you listen to, what you wear, what you eat. Every single second of every single hour of every single day you are being controlled. It's like in George Orwell's 1984, and I'm not exaggerating. In so doing, they sort of take people out of society at large. Because why would I ever need to go to Connecticut? Why would I ever need to go to New Jersey? I just needed the four walls of this study hall and my book of Talmud and fingers that can just turn page after page year after year, forever. I went from believing absolutely everything to a week later realizing that like all of it was complete nonsense. But I was always taught that, you know, the Garden of Eden was real and that, you know, two animals get, went up in the ark of like two of each kind and then when I saw, oh my God, this isn't real and I've been totally lied to my whole life. My daughter should never, her testimony in court should never be worth half a man's testimony. Uh, that's in the Quran. I enjoyed my first shrimp more than I enjoyed my first time having sex. Having always worn skirts, I really didn't know how to shop for pants. You know, how they're supposed to fit, what I'm supposed to look for. So I sat in Highline Park for like an hour or two one day, just checking out people's asses. One of the first things I want to do is, you know, see gay bars and all that. I moved here after 9-11. And that was, you know, not an easy time to be like, at the time I was a 23-year-old Egyptian immigrant. I'm being attacked from my identity, and that made me a little bit more like, you know, I started praying. I didn't pray in Egypt. Give me the routine, like, very, it's like, it was almost like a yoga exercise. But then it didn't make sense. It, and, it, and, I, and, I, and I came to the point in my life where I was like, this is wrong, and I'm not gonna defend it just because it's like my parents. Since I was 14, I had these questions and doubts and wondering. I had doubts when I was 17. Am I crazy? I'm having these doubts, you know? But I didn't know how to research. We did not have the internet. I spend a lot of time on the internet, you know, on Reddit. They have a whole extra witness like page and they have a lot of forums. Once I started looking at, you know, sexuality and how, you know, there's nothing scientifically or medically bad about being gay or like being a woman and having like sexual desires. And I was just like, oh my God, this is like crazy. Like, like there's a whole world out there that I've never seen really. So formerly fundamentalist is a group where people of all persuasions who have had experiences with fundamentalism can exchange their stories, can be validated. Getting together with my other Pentecostal friends and talking about our exits, there's nothing to really learn from. Like it's, we're too much the same. But like when you're meeting with someone else and it's the same but different, it's, it's a little bit richer I think. It also helps us to get out of the bitterness that comes from hating what we were in formerly. I hope it can also serve as a support group for a lot of people who have lost family and friends uh, when they left their religions. Jehovah's Witnesses will not associate with anyone who has left the religion and disagrees with it. And it's a very traumatic experience. The best way to put this is you lose your entire network. I still want to have like a relationship with my mother sometime in the future. So I didn't want to like be too open about my doubts. It's hard not having a family, so that's um, kind of the situation I'm in now. I have a bunch of brothers. Most of them are very religious, and I have a relationship with them. What's important is that they're happy and fulfilled, and me too. <laughs>